Hey guys, Jared back. So we've got another app review for you today. This one's a bit of a different one. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it's called Button Savior. It's right there up in the top left hand corner there. Now it's actually active and running on my home screen right now. And if you haven't noticed, it's actually right up my thumb there. That little tucked away sort of arrow right there. So if I click on it, you'll notice that it actually reveals a set of buttons. If I click on the three dot overflow, uh, it switches the buttons. Now, what's the point of this? Button Savior was basically designed for people who um, either don't like the placement of their hardware buttons or don't want to use their hardware buttons. Maybe you're a phone modder and you are starting to wear the crap out of your volume key, your home button, your power button, and so on. Um, this is a great option for you. And you'll notice that we've got the back button, task manager, home, and we can even power or turn the display off. Um, of course, though, trying, turning it back on, you are going to have to use your hardware keys or whatever other method uh, comes with the device to turn it on. Uh, then I click the overflow. We've got phone, camera, volume up, and volume down. Um, you know, as you can see, clicking into the uh, camera application, there it is. So now the one thing I did want to mention, though, with the uh, the volume up and volume down button, on my G2 right now, which I'm going to have to send back soon, so sorry, guys, probably no rooting videos on this. Um, we've got the volume up and volume down, but they don't work. Now, I've only been testing it out on the G2. I haven't tried it on any of my Galaxy devices or my Nexus or anything like that, so I don't know if it works on there. Um, though the reason it might, why it might not be working here is because the G2 is a new device and it's not as popular as Galaxy devices, as we all know. Um, so maybe he just needs to release an update. Nevertheless, uh, we do have some different settings we can get into here. Oh, and by the way, yes, you can, in fact, just long press on it, and you can, if I'm going to do it properly this time, okay, come on, come on, it was doing it for me earlier, anyways, you can move it around wherever you want, I'm probably just, because I'm on an angle with the camera, it's not working, but here's the settings here, um, you can enable it, disable it, lots of different settings, um, well, not lots, but actually quite a limited amount, but I mean, really, what do you need, right, and, the, you know, the reason why he made it so these aren't editable is because, specifically, they're meant to be, you know, uh, hardware button replacements, but for your screen. Um, anyways, guys, I'll be posting a link in the description below. This is free, and no, you do not need root. Um, it might not even show you, but right here, it says non-root, so you don't need root. He does have a free version and a premium version, all of which obviously have some more um, advanced options and settings and things like that. So go check it out if you're interested in something or want to, you know, no longer want to use your hardware keys. This might be a great option for you. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Um, if you like the video, click the likes button. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And um, like I said before, link will be in the description below. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.